everyone, Chocolate Birds here for another video review. This time with the Copana Ali by Max. Crispy bar with coconuts and caramel in milk chocolates. Yeah. Oh, so thanks so much to my friend Kieran for donating this one to me. I'd like to dedicate it to his girlfriend Sophie as well. So yeah, so thanks so much both of you and uh, yeah, really appreciate it. I know you probably don't watch it every week, but <laughs> I watch my channel every week, but um, very much appreciated that you've uh, given a few videos a watch. So thank you so, so much. And thanks again to Kieran for donating this to me as well. Um, not, uh, I've heard of Kaplana before, but not heard of this bar before. Um, looks to be very much a sort of, it looks a bit like a lion bar, doesn't it really? Um, essentially, um, sort of layers of wafer sort of separated with caramel covered in a sort of covering of uh, chocolate and maybe other things like rice crispy pieces or something like that and presumably um, coconuts are in there at some point <laughs> so yeah <laughs> looks a very interesting one so is there any description I assume it's uh, I think Goplan is a Polish company um, I can't quite lots of lots of small text here I'm struggling to find uh, anything um, yeah sort of useful in English anyway let's see but um, let's see maybe I'll maybe that's it there I think that might be it let's have a look yeah, there we go. Milk chocolate bar with caramel, 32.9%. And uh, desiccated coconut, rice crisps and wafer. There we go, yeah. Not too bad. And I think we might have the calories there. I can't quite tell. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, maybe not, maybe not. Okay. Anything else of interest? Yeah, so we've got the calories over here. So it might be quite difficult to uh, interpret those. Let's see if I can see it. I think it's per 100 grams, that. Yes, per 100 grams. Uh, 498 calories. Uh, I think that's 26 grams of fat, 16 of which are saturated, possibly, I can't quite tell. Yes, I think that's true. Looks to be the case, yeah. <laughs> Could be wrong, but I think that's the case. The 498 calories per 100 grams, 26 grams of fat, uh, 16 of which are saturates, I think. Yes, I think that's about right. It's a 49 gram bar, so it's a big chunky one, this one, 1.72 ounces, if you want to say it that way. Yeah, it's a massive chunky bar, still got a bit of flourish action going on, so you can see, not quite as uh, big as it makes out, but um, definitely looks interesting, very, uh, yeah, I like that little uh, pattern here as well, I think that looks pretty good. It's a bit, um, I don't know what the gimmick is there, I, can't, I don't know why it's behind, or seemingly behind something else, I don't know, not sure, maybe it's just a bit on the side, but I like it. All right, well, we should give it an open then. So yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Let's give it an open. <laughs> okay, let's give this a uh, couple on Alibi Max uh, crispy bar with coconuts and caramel and milk chocolate <laughs> and open. So thanks so much again to my friend Kieran for donating this to me and uh, shout out again to uh, his girlfriend Sophie. So uh, yeah, hello Sophie, hope you're doing okay. And thanks for watching my videos, by the way, both of you. Very much appreciated. So thank you so so much. Um, yeah, it looks a very interesting bar. This one, I'd say, it looks uh, has a sort of definite look of uh, a lion bar um, to it. I'd say what you can see basically. Um, Layers of wafer sort of separated with caramel and covered in uh, sort of chocolate and rice crispy uh, mix, which, which possibly has coconut in. I think it, I think it seems to be say it's desiccated coconut. So I don't think there's actually chunks of coconut in. Uh, I'm not too sure. Um, so quite a lot of uh, text here. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure I can go through it all in a short amount of time. And it's very difficult to read actually. I must say, there's lots of different languages on there. I think is the gist of it. Um, you know, so there could be like a little bit of English in there somewhere, um, but I'm not sure. You can see how much there is, it's low. Uh, but there is a sort of um, English bit just down here. So it does say milk chocolate bar with caramel 32.9%, desiccated coconut, rice crisps and wafer. So it doesn't say actually coconut pieces, but they may be there. Right, okay, so that's, uh, without further ado, let's get, well in fact that's before we, I say without further ado, but before we do make a do or whatever, <laughs> let's, uh, let's give it a bit of a measure then. So it's about 17 and a half with the... Uh, Maybe it was slightly over actually, maybe I'll push that down a bit, it's definitely going well over 17, it's about 17.8 centimetres with the flourishes and things, so we'll measure it uh, as how actual long it is when we've opened it. It's time to record, I've done about uh, 850 reviews believe it or not, so if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And in the top right hand corner I'll put a link to a place to all my other reviews, um, so after you watch this one, go check those out, hope you enjoy those too. <laughs> Well, it looks very, uh, yeah, look at that. Well, so before I forget the 17.8, let me just give it a bit of a bit of a measure. Yeah, so it's now about um, 13, basically. Yeah, maybe 13.2. So it's lost a good 4, 4.6 centimetres there. And I said there is a bit of a lip out there as well. So that is counting that bit. So yeah, a bit disappointing how much size you lose from the wrapper. Uh, not an uncommon thing, of course, but that definitely, I say a fifth is probably the threshold that's acceptable. Um, and that's definitely four centimeters, definitely more than uh, 
a fifth, you know, um, let's say 30 centimeters for each one, so it's almost a third of the bar. Um, yeah, so, hmm. So, yeah, a bit disappointing that, but it's not uncommon, but as I say, that is quite um, extreme. Here, the worst one, I think, is Kinder Buenos, I think. It seems to be almost like, I don't know, half the bar or something, from what I remember. I can't remember exactly, but it's a lot anyway. <laughs> but I like this, I like the way the rescue suit pieces are all quite small. I think that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, it looks pretty nice actually. It looks pretty good that and you can see wafer kind of coming through on this side here. Um, yeah, so let's give it a bit of a measure then in total before I forget. So, um, got the old calipers here set to zero. As I say, we do uh, normally, as I say, can't get that high on this one. I was suspecting I won't be able to use the calipers, but I can. Um, about 13.4 centimeters, 13.5 centimeters there. So, that is counting the lip at the bottom. If I do it at the top. 12 about 13 there so we do that half a centimeter goes okay we'll do the width at the bottom so it does have a you know it's wider at the bottom basically um i think it depends on where you are as well so i'll do it from this end here where it's a bit thinner looks a bit more normal not been um you know flattened out okay so it's roughly uh, about 2.7 centimeters there if you can there yeah okay and the height of it 2.2 quite focusing in but i think you can still see it <laughs> yeah and the width for, just for the sake of it for the width or just for completeness width of there is a uh, 3.2 so see at one end it's 3.2 and at the other end it's 2.6 so yeah so definitely uh those little flattened bits definitely make a difference there all right yeah okay let's give a bit of a chop then shall we see what it's like in the middle so um let's see a nice crunch to it feels very wafery all right, so there we go, yeah. The knife is not the sharpest, so it's probably can sort of made the layers not look quite as good as it would have done had a really sharp knife. But so nonetheless, I think you can definitely see the layers there. You can definitely see the caramel. And I think it's uh, another million miles away from the, what's on the front. Let's say, especially this bottom one, I think you'd, if I can swap them around a bit, can I do that? <laughs> yeah, just about. Um, yeah. So it's not quite as pretty, but I think you can clearly see the uh, the layers there and the um, caramel, especially in the top one. Um, yeah, sort of rice crispy pieces around the edge as well. So not bad, that not bad. Good representation. All right, well let's uh, give it a taste. I think I've forgot to mention actually. Um, there's a nice uh, smell of coconut coming from it. You can definitely tell it's a coconut bar. Mm, when I opened it, I could tell that actually. So yeah, so it's definitely there. It's a nice coconut smell. Um, but yeah, let's find out what it tastes like, I think. So I'm guessing this will be a little bit like the recently um, released Lion Coconut. Um, but yeah, let's give it a go. Definitely not so, I think it's a bigger bar for sure. So let's give it a taste. Let's do it. <laughs> let's give it a taste. Okay, let's give this uh, Gaplana Ali by Max a taste. Yeah, crispy bar with uh, coconuts and caramel milk chocolate. So thanks once again to my friend Kieran for uh, donating this to me to review. Uh, and yes, and a big shout out to his girlfriend Sophie as well. So hello there. <laughs> thanks so much for your support and for uh, yeah watching my videos. I know you probably don't watch all of them, but thank you so, so much. <laughs> all right, so we're going to give this, um, yeah, going to give this a taste then. So basically a bit like a coconut lion. The lion bar being a sort of uh, wafer, so sort of like layers of wafer separated by caramel generally. Covered in milk chocolate mixed with um, rice crispy pieces. So this one's got sort of desiccated coconut in there as well. Maybe coconut pieces, although it wasn't saying that on the ingredients, so not too sure. But yeah, can't quite see the layers there. My knife made a mess of it on that side, but this side's a bit better. There we go. Bit of caramel in between them there. Right, well, without further ado, let's uh, give it a taste. <laughs> let's do it. Let's give it a taste. Mm. 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 Well, hmm, not bad at all. This it's very um, a nice sweet taste from the coconut. Um, hmm, a nice crunch as well from the rice crispy pieces. Actually, I think those in the wafer work pretty well on the caramel as well. Actually, a very nice bar. This, hmm, yeah, must be why uh, Kieran uh, gave it me. Must have, uh, well, hopefully, had a good opinion of it anyway. <laughs> but it tastes very nice. Yeah, hmm, okay. Um, I say people who watch the channel regularly will know I'm a big fan of um, sort of biscuit pieces, crunchy pieces, things like that in my chocolate. And this has definitely got the crunchy, not the biscuit piece, of course, but the rice crispy pieces there. Very nice. And the wafer's pretty good as well. I think it works very well together with the caramel. It gives it a nice chew, a nice crunch as well. Which I think was missing when I reviewed the um, toffee crisp recently, the orange toffee crisp. It just wasn't quite, it didn't, didn't last long in the mouth at all, unlike this one, which um, 
as I say, it does give you a good uh, good bit of a crunch in the tube. Hmm. Hmm. You can see the layers there again. I mean, I like this a lot. Coconut's relatively subtle. It just gives a bit of a sweetness. There isn't any coconut texture there. Mm, it's just a taste of sweetness inside the, uh, mm, presumably the chocolate. Um, mm. Yes, yeah, so there's no actual sort of bits of coconut I can tell anyway. Uh, it might be subtle on somewhere, but you know, I'm not a big fan of the texture of coconut generally. Cause it feels a bit like it um, gets in my teeth a bit and a bit like shredded paper. I don't really like the sort of texture of it, but um, mm. I'm definitely not too. Uh, I'm definitely a fan of the taste. So, yeah, I mean, this is really nice. Actually, it's very nice. Yeah, the chocolate's um, can't taste the chocolate too well. It's there, but it's mainly about the caramel and the wafer and the rice crispy pieces, and with that coconut sweetness. Is, I say in the chocolate, but you don't really get much of a the chocolate taste as such. Hmm. I think this is very nice. I say it's definitely um. Wine bars generally are okay for me, but not the best bars in the world. I think it's just let down by, hmm, I'm not sure, I think it's just too chewy. I think it's just, basically a lime bar in the UK, um, compared to this, it's like a finger of drifter, basically, which is a very sort of chewy um, bar that's kind of a, it's a wafer part. It's like the wafer bit in the middle of this, if you imagine that, without the, the sort of topping of a, of um, Rice Krispie and chocolate mix around it. It's just, just chocolate, basically. Um, yeah, and I think, I think um, in the line bar, it's just a bit too much like that. I'm not a big fan of drifters generally, but this one, I said the wafer's a lot more wafery, uh, crunchy, um, a lot less chewy. I think the caramel's mainly around the edge rather than between the wafer sections. Um, so it just means the chew is a bit, um, bit, it just works a bit better with the rest of it. And I really like the, the, so the crunchy rice crispy pieces as well, coupled with that wafer. Um, and I said the caramel works really well. It's just the right amount of it. And I really like... Uh, so I think there is some caramel between the wafer, but it's not as much. You do you get a bit of a tube, but not too much of one. Um, yeah, and I really like uh, the sweetness of the coconut. So I think that's just proportionately all just works really well. It's just really well proportioned. So the chocolate, the wafer, the caramel, the coconut flavour, and the rice crispy pieces. You know, they all just work really well together in the, in, in the just the right ratios, really. So yeah, very nice this one. Um, it doesn't have like a like an oomph to sort of, you know, really blow your socks off. I don't think it's going to be a fire out of five, but definitely between a four and a four and a half. I'm really a fan of this. I think it's quite a good size as well. I do have that problem with the flourishes taking away between a sort of third and a quarter of the bar, which is disappointing. Um, I say the wrapper, you know, looks, up, looks to contain something far bigger than it actually does, which is common across the board, really, but this one is quite a bit more extreme than normal. Um, or regular, anyway. Um... But you know, not too different really, but you know, even so. Yeah, I think, hmm, I don't can I give it a four and a half? I don't think I could, it's very high for a low four and a half. I think I'm going to say a four out of five, and that's really nice. I really like it. It's nearly a four and a half. On another day, it perhaps could have been. Um, hard to say why it's not really. I think it's just the, I don't know, it's just not quite that sort of oomph to take it a bit higher really, but it's very close to being a four and a half. I just don't think it quite reaches there, but let's say. Four out of five is really good score, you know, well above average bar this one, and very close to being a four and a half, you know. And on another day, I could have given it a four and a half, I think. I'm just very close. It's a really nice one. A really nice one, I think. Mm. It's tempting to give it a four and a half. I just think maybe if the chocolate's had a bit more about it or something. I'm not sure. If there was something else about it, I think it would be a four and a half for sure. There's just something not quite there, um, but it's very close. But yeah, I think four out of five is about right but very close to four and a half yeah so well recommended this one and i shall enjoy finishing it off that's for sure <laughs> yeah so thank you so so much to kieran as well once again for uh, donating this to me and hello once more to sophie thank you so so much both of you for your support of watching the channel even if it's only periodically <laughs> so thanks so much <laughs> All right, guys, so if you enjoyed that review, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, check out the YouTube member program. Link for that's in the description, as is the link for the Discord server, which is a great way to keep in touch with myself and the community, um, and to be part of the community. And um, yeah, as I say, leave a like, leave a comment, um, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now. See you. Bye.